psoriasis is a disease of the immune system manifesting in the skin or joints, and there is no cure. According to the National Institute of Health, as many as 7.5 million Americans have psoriasis, which commonly appears on the skin as itchy red scaly patches. Now, psoriasis is probably one of the longest known illnesses in human history and simultaneously one of the most misunderstood. Here to discuss the disease and an effective treatment is Dr. Stefan Weiss. Welcome, Dr. Weiss. Uh, thank you very much. So what exactly is psoriasis and who suffers from it the most? So psoriasis is an immune-mediated disease, as you spoke of. Uh, and where it manifests most frequently is on the scalp, the elbows, the knees, and the trunk. Uh, it can also form on the palms and the soles uh, alone, which can be very debilitating. Yeah, I've seen people with the palms peeling skin. Kind exactly, of? Mm -hmm. and it can be very difficult for people who have certain occupations where their hands need to be seen, uh, and for individuals who like to be outdoors on the soles of the feet can be very painful. I actually have a massage therapist who suffers from psoriasis and has to completely cut back on her clients because some people won't be massaged with hands that are having an outbreak. Exactly, that's one of the things that people with psoriasis suffer from is that social stigma. Yeah, anyone famous ever had it? Uh, there are a number of famous individuals with psoriasis, including the great linebacker from the New York Jets, Mark Gastineau, really? the Beaver, Jerry Mathers, and of course the American novelist John Updike. Wow. So what has been the history of treatment of psoriasis? So psoriasis classically has been treated with what were always called potions and lotions. There were a number of creams, gels, ointments that people used to have to slather on themselves to hope to find some degree of relief. Uh, at some point in the early 50s and 60s, they actually developed light therapy for psoriasis. Uh, and this started out with just taking an aspect of the sun's rays in the UVA spectrum. Then it merged over to just the UVB spectrum. And that became more narrow in terms of what was called narrowband UVB. Is that literally the light that you stand in front of a light box and your whole body gets a dose of it? Exactly. Even if you only have an outbreak in one area? That, that was the whole point. So not only did people who have to stand in this light box when they were getting UVB or UVA therapy, it would take 30 to 40 treatments before they Whoa. would have any demonstrable results. So what What's the new news? The new news is the Extract Excimer laser from Photomedics, which is a targeted beam of light in the 308 nanometer uh, wavelength uh, that allows for precise phototherapy of the psoriatic plaque, sparing the surrounding normal tissue. Uh, this allows not only for a more rapid uh, delivery of the, of the actual light therapy, but it also allows for fewer treatments. So basically, 10, treat 10 weeks of twice weekly treatment will actually provide uh, the same effect that people were getting from 30 to 40 treatments uh, with the light boxes. Wow. 10 treatments compared to 30 or 40. Now, does it actually reduce the length of the outbreaks, or does it um, keep future outbreaks from coming? It can do both. So what we'll have to see is in patients, especially in one study where we looked at uh, individuals with mild to moderate psoriasis, we saw 75 to 90 percent of patients achieved clearance. Most importantly, that clearance was sustained for four to six months. This is good news for people who suffer so much. How do we find out about this? The best way to find out is to either ask your dermatologist about the extract laser or go to Photomedics' website, which is www.photomedics.com. Photomedics.com. Now, does insurance cover this, or is it considered plastic surgery? The great news for patients is this is considered a medical therapy, and insurance does cover it. That's very good news. Okay, so if you can't remember photomedics.com, just go to your derm and ask for the x track laser. Is Correct. that right? Exactly. Dr. Weiss, thank you for sharing this important information with us today. Thank you. A pleasure to see you. Good to see you.